Yes now, my people, welcome back to the Bazinga channel. I'm back on my feet, I'm feeling good, the life is back in the boil. Look at how he's moving, yeah. So just to give you guys a little bit of an update, I had a one week checkup on the 19th, I think it was, so just a little over a week. And I took the first week pretty easily, however, on the 16th, so six days after my surgery, I started feeling like me again. And we had some side men shoots that weren't too taxing on the body. So I decided to go to them. And guess what? I showed everyone my body. So stay tuned because I'm going to show you the boys' reactions to my body. However, this is me now. This is my body. I've still got my super suit on underneath here. My super suit. But yeah, man, look, I'm active again. Wow, look, I'm pretty much stood up straight now. I'm feeling good, man. I can move a bit. Yeah. Wow. In all seriousness, I haven't taken it too far, though. I am still getting back on my feet. I'm not going to rush anything. However, I'm taking you guys with me today because I have another checkup. I'm getting another lymphatic drainage massage and some oscillating thing, which essentially helps move the swelling around to the right glands, and then you piss out the swelling is what I understood last time. But yeah, I did weigh myself just this morning and I'm under 81 kilos. So that means that I lost pretty much like two kilos of body weight during the operation, which is mental. So when we get back from the checkup and massage, etc., etc., I'm gonna run through the boys' reactions to the massage, how the first week's been, how I'm getting on now. And yeah, thank you for tuning into the journey. We're back, baby. Another good thing about recovering is I can drive, baby. I can drive. Get you there, come on. I missed my car. Hello, baby. Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Very good. It's good, isn't it? Anything good? So good. Well done. Thank you. You don't need these anymore, do you? So these people saying his nips gone. His nips gone. I saw that. Yeah. I've got tape on them. <laughs> Just a little bit of tape. That looks good. Yeah. No, I feel, I feel like I'm healing really well. So. Yeah. Good. You just got one. Just yeah. Just one. got one. Yeah. Daughter. Yes. Yeah. She's uh, Cute. What eight? About, about to turn eight months. So oh, wow. getting up and about now, trying to crawl. It's quite funny. Once this settles and you exercise, you really see that finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got the job there. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. That's crazy. That's mental, the amount that's like... How flat you look now. Yeah, wow. And you're still swollen, so when you're done, it's yeah. going to be yeah. a lot flatter. Six well, months. Even the day after I last came here for my first massage, the morning after I looked so much... Before you massage, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get used to the banter. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well done. You're doing great. Good to see you again. Alright, so I am back home. My camera did die halfway through that, I think halfway through, maybe just over halfway through, that doesn't matter. Time to get the kit off and show you my body. Before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys the Sidemen and Co's reaction to my operation. Boom. Wait, I can't believe how trim you look. It's insane. Yeah. My super suit. It's getting on. Oh, oh, super suit. Get my body out. Oh, yes, get your body out. Back row. Uh, uh, check that it's got actually in there. Oh, my God. That's mad. Jeez. Jeez. I'm still so small. Jeez. Hot best summer. Let's go. Mad, when do you get rid of the ink? Uh, when I can wash properly with soap and that, but yeah, my ni I have st still got nipples. They're just under oh, tape. Yeah, I love how the comments are like, "You stole his nipples." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm still so swollen, man. Like fluid area. But that's insane, though. Yeah, man. Yeah. Congrats. That looks painful. It's, it's, it's not hard. <laughs> so spin. Give us a spin. Oh, that was oh, like, oh, it's painful, man. But, yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not the nicest, but I'm alright. Uh, right here. Because it, it, it has like oh, a, really? a pee hole. In the suit, <laughs> so I have to turn around to unzip it. Ah, that was so small. Can I poke it? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, it was. Yeah. Yikes, the bruising is mad. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because the bigger you get, the it's like just goes over here. It was actually his butthole. It to go back to exercise and stuff. But like full heel is like that's six to eight. Why are you bringing that? Oh. That's when you're, after like a year, you'll no, see it's full heel. Really so, so this is how my body looks 13 days after 
the operation. As you can see, I'm sort of pretty much stood up straight now. Yeah, man. Buzzing, 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 buzzing. Let's go. Another cool thing I wanted to show you guys was Gymshark actually had this made for me and gave it to me the Saturday after my operation. It is so, so cool. So they got an artist, which I believe is down here at Lines Behind, to go through like my entire journey and pick up little things from it. So if you guys remember the blackboard behind the very first shot, this shot here, uh, said change my life for good. And then it has loads of different speech bubbles, which are messages from you guys about your own transformations and like inspiring you guys across the years. And this will be going in my gym uh, once it is complete. But yeah, Gymshark, you already know, man. Been a part of the journey for so long. Still a part of the journey to this day. Got a lot of love for them, man. Like real talk, Gymshark just, it's like seamless, man. I feel like part of the furniture. They feel like part of the furniture. I feel like we just go hand in hand, man. Lots of love, Gymshark, as always. Love you long time. Thank you very much for taking care of me with a nice little thoughtful gift. So guys, we are back in the proper setup. And as I said, we're just gonna go over a few things on how it all felt, the process in general, and what I'm feeling like on a day-to-day -day basis now. So as I mentioned in the last section of the previous video, going to the toilet, hell, absolute hell. You get given this medication and essentially one of them just completely dehydrates you, your guts, everything. So that was a big trouble. And in the first like three to four days, it was rough. I'm gonna put some pictures on screen now, right? Because the bruising, excuse my bum sort of shots, hopefully the editor's gonna blur my bum. But yeah, man, it was crazy. So yeah, the bruising was pretty nasty and I was still really tight around here. That was for the first four, maybe five days. However, on the 16th of May, which was six days post-op, is the day that I woke up and felt really good. I also think that was roughly around the last day of all the medication that I got given to take home. Day seven was when I had my first outing. I didn't take it too crazy. I had a car come and pick me up from my house and take me to the studio, which is when we filmed 20 versus one and another Sidemen video. And a lot of 20 versus one videos are just sitting down, so I felt pretty comfortable. At the end of the day, I was a little bit stiff, but it was nice to be back out and sort of not just sitting at home and feeling like, I'm wilting away. After the Sidemen shoot, I think I had a day at home, but then we had a really busy week and we had another studio shoot of a video which I took control of. You guys won't know what it is yet, but it's coming. Bazinga took a video whilst in surgery uh, and I think it came out pretty well. I was really happy with the outcome on the day. So managing that, hoping it goes well and hosting the video, I managed to do it and I felt amazing. I come home and I said to Faith, yo, never guess what? I hosted a video today and I stood up the whole time buzzing. It was around sort of like the eight, eight day mark that I noticed my swelling was going down considerably. I noticed that my bruises were turning more yellow and I was speaking to Nikki, the girl who does like my drainage and massage and stuff like that. Uh, and she said bruising goes through like stages of being like black, brown, purple, blue and yellow sort of towards the end. So I feel like I'm healing really well. But I think what has helped massively is the fact that I took care of myself on the lead up to this operation really well. I think it's paid dividends in the recovery that I did it beforehand because I just feel so so good. I mean, I don't even feel like it's 13 days after surgery. I feel good. I feel like as if someone's just beating me up a little bit and I'm going to be all right next week. But don't get me wrong. I'm not being deluded. I'm not going to start chucking myself into doing crazy things. If I'm out taking a walk, doing something like that, that's the maximum we're going to at the minute. I will say I sneezed for the first time yesterday. That was crazy. That one was nuts. It felt like my whole core was erupting. Now for guys that are gonna ask questions, I had my surgery done at a place called Bella Vu by Dr. Amir. He was unreal, man. What a geezer. He's the man that you saw draining my sarcoma. What a word, by the way. Sarcoma feels like really serious. But yeah, Dr. Amir, man, sorted me right out. The aftercare, the people, just everybody there has been so lovely to me and Faith. So big up them. But yeah, man, as you guys can see, Ethan's happy, man. I, I don't know why I just spoke about myself in the third person. What a weirdo. But I'm happy. I'm really happy with how things are going. My life's back on track. I'm eating my diet that I usually would, hitting my protein, trying to get my steps in, drinking my water. Boom. Water, very important. The skinhead trim I've gone for. Yeah, I, I quite like it. It's low maintenance. I just feel good, man. I feel good. <laughs> Although, look, yeah, look, look at my little arms. My muscle mass, my muscle mass is dwindling away. But don't worry, I will be back. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to say again, thank you so much for the support on both videos I put out around this journey so far. It's been amazing. You guys are unreal. Thank you for supporting the channel. And you know what? Why don't we just try and go for five mil subs? We're like, I think we're like 
85k away or something like that. Let's do it, man. Click that like button, subscribe, and let me know what other videos you want to see from me once I get back up on my feet and I can start moving properly again. So big up you guys. Big up everyone that supported the journey. Big up the people that are still here for the ride. Love you long time. See you next time. Bye.